what's going on everybody welcome back welcome back on this fabulous sunday for another uh tabloid trending topics with t let me just adjust the camera ever so slightly all right so before i get started like i said i got my my drink in hand if y'all want to know what it is y'all know i be hydrated so uh that's the uh get that in there the crystal light um yeah strawberry orange banana it's delicious y'all it's delicious uh, hit the vape and we're gonna get right into this now this should be a quickie because um a lot of like a lot of the big big topics i should i will say recover in the blab that i did with uh um james Cole, who just came in the room lady nika and um like i said much love slid through and also uh sean bradley did but most of those are already covered but i do have some uh, topics that i held on the reserve for you guys so let's go ahead and uh, get into this shall we first of all uh like i said whenever there are prayers and whatnot that we need to send up i like to start it off with that and end with the congrats if there are any so uh first up is uh we lost one of the uh pips um and it was uh william guest we lost him <clears throat> to uh congestive heart failure so uh, like i said we lost like i said and if you guys don't know about gladys knight and the pips y'all might want to get hip to that but we did lose him if i'm not mistaken it was right before christmas so of course let's send out our prayers and condolences you know to the family it's one thing to lose a family member it's another thing to lose one either right before or right after a holiday trust me when i say i know about both because i lost uh back uh when i turned 10 or right before and after thank you for sharing the video i lost uh my grandfather right before thanksgiving and then i lost my grandmother same year like three days after three to four days no yeah three days after christmas so i know all about losing family members you know close to holidays so you know if we could send up prayers and condolences that would be awesome for them also um yeah yeah and also uh prayers like i said this person did not die but i'm gonna talk about this for a second so uh king louis or king l he uh has been known to be uh one of the ghost writers for kanye west and like i said y'all know him from chicago kanye mm, from chicago but uh king louis had uh, been shot on chicago's uh south side on the streets and if i'm not mistaken it, he was shot in the head but he is still living. He is said to make a recovery. I know, Chicago. <laughs> but he is said to um, make a recovery. <clears throat> and Tiki had already covered parties, but I'm going to piggyback on what she said. But she said, Tiki44, if y'all not subscribed to her, check her out. She said, uh, when it's not your time, it's not your time. You know what I'm saying? There is a guy. And, and I will say, yeah, yes, it is. And since this is a Sunday morning, or actually at this point, it's the afternoon, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> give y'all just a little bit of spirit and soul, you know, so hopefully y'all don't click off. But here's the thing, you know what I'm saying? Psalms 91 pretty much says, if you go seeking God, he will be your defender. He will be your protector. Okay, Isaiah, what is it, 54, I believe, 17, uh, pretty much says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You feel what I'm saying? So apparently whoever tried to gun him down was trying to come against him. And here's the thing, I don't know if this individual is a man of God, but... It's one of those things where it's just like, you got shot in the head and you are still around. I'm, I'm just saying, we all know that there is a God. Psalm 105, and I believe it's 15, touch, my, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And Isaiah 55 and 11, and this is the big one. If, if, don't none of the other, if none of these others touch you, it's that my word will not return unto me void. All right, and that right there is just a little bit for y'all. So when y'all sit here confessing, you know what is in the Bible, these prayers, you know the word. When y'all are confessing this over y'all lives, no, first of all, you got to have faith. You got to believe that what is in that book is true. You have to not just take it. You don't have to just believe it. You have to own it. You have to live it. But you need to remember that that word will not return unto him, boys. And when you speak the word back to God, okay, it, it, let, let, let me say let me explain this to y'all right quick it's just like when we were children imagine you know your mama daddy say you know if you get at least all bees i will buy you a bike after the next report card and you get all them you get b's and a's and you know that bike is in there will you not go to your mom and be like hey mom uh didn't you say that uh if i got all b's and everything that i was gonna get this bike right yeah 
It's the same thing with God where the promises are already in the book, but sometimes you got to speak it back to the father and let it touch his ears. And you need to touch and agree with what he already said in that book and not doubt, have faith and believe. And I'm going to just move on. I'm going to just move on. Take a sip because I'm, I'm about to get myself started this month or this afternoon. Whew, all right, all right. <laughs> Say hallelujah. All right, so let's move on, cause I didn't get I didn't get myself a little started. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I try not to bring spirit and soul to tabloids and trending topics with T, but hey, it is what it is. And actually, before I move on to K Michelle, one other thing I want to talk about is um, um, at a place that I worked at, uh, I worked at a uh, low army heliport. Um, one of the civilians that worked at, he was telling me of uh, someone that he knew had on his helmet and everything, and literally somebody shot at him. The bullet pierced the dang on helmet. And instead of going straight through, it traveled around the back and out through the helmet. And they even had the helmet and you saw the entry point, the exit point, but it never went through his skull. That's all I'm trying to say is that y'all like people, whether you believe or don't believe, you don't believe it is what it is. But like I said, I believe and I know, and like I said, there's countless stories, you know, of miracles that God, you know, that has been done in God's name. But again, let me just go ahead and move on. K. Michelle. So the day before Christmas, she, uh, oh, you enjoy the collaboration? Thank you so much. Thank you. So I enjoyed doing it. Like I said, I mean, hey, it was fun. Hopefully we don't have to deal with any more trolls in the near near future because there will be more YouTube uh, blabs and earth. Hey, hey, how you doing? What's up? What's up? So <clears throat> she released a, uh, a cover song or not really a cover song but her rendition of uh santa baby she released that uh on christmas eve well what also got released were nude photos of miss k michelle now um it's one of those rumors where maybe she did it herself maybe somebody leaked it but it is one of those where it's awfully convenient that you drop a song on this day and then new pics of you also leaked but she doesn't appear to be phased by it. You know, like I said, she's comfortable in the skin that she is in. And I mean, here's the thing. We all know that her show is coming back next month on the 25th for, I believe this is season two of K. Michelle's My Life. So, and again, what they say in the media, any publicity is good publicity. So, like I said, I'm hoping she didn't uh, leak those new pics of herself. But again, you never know. Moving on, see here, I told y'all <clears throat> this is probably going to be a quickie because I done talked about everything, but uh, you know, like I said, we're going to do this every Sunday unless I'm, I got to go where my job takes me, but we're not talking about that. All right, so <clears throat> Steve Harvey, I, um, like I said, I already talked about him and the biking, but and that was last week, but I want to go ahead and talk about the whole Miss Universe, uh, yeah, Miss Universe uh, debacle and all the other stuff. So a lot of people have a lot of stuff to say, <clears throat> and there's a few things that I just want to make mention of. We all know that he initially crowned Miss Columbia instead of Miss Philippines and everything that was all encompassed in that. What I first want to say is I don't like how people are acting as if no one has ever made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? It happens. <laughs> the real government job. <laughs> But mistakes happen, and <clears throat> it's, and even the whole him reading off the teleprompter instead of reading from cue cards and everything, that, you know, this mistake happened. Now, on one hand, let me just say, I don't think that, like, a lot of shit that happens, especially in the media, a lot of it, it, it to me, isn't a coincidence. Sometimes a lot of that shit is staged. There's a lot of stuff going on in the media right now. On some real shit, I personally believe this could have all just been a major distraction because as soon as this happened, what we took our minds off a lot of stuff that was going on with this. You know, and it's one of those where it's just like, so somebody just accidentally put on, on the teleprompter the wrong person's name. Really? Now, maybe Steve wasn't involved in this. Maybe he was. I don't know. But here's the reality. Regardless of what happened, he he's pretty much getting called back to do next year's, if I'm not mistaken. And why everybody want to sit here and, you know, come at him again. One, we all make mistakes, so let's act as if we don't. But at the same exact time, why everybody is in their feelings, why people got shit to say, uh, Steve Harvey's still cashing them motherfucking checks, whether you like him or not. 
he ha he does stand up, right? Right? Multi year, there we go. But you know, he still does stand up, right? He's still making money off of the Kings of Comedy. Don't trip he ain't through me yet, still tripping and countless other things that he has done. The Steve Harvey show still plays on other networks, so he's getting money off of that. He has his own talk show, he has his own radio show, and he is on Family Feud. So regardless of what is going on, Steve Harvey's cashing them checks. Not to mention, you know, think like a um Act Like a Woman, Think Like a Man, book, movies. It's one of those where it's just like, I'm really sure. <clears throat> exactly. His brand is still in town. I'm pretty sure he's not being faced too much. And for everyone that is like up in, you know, here's the thing, on some real shit. For all those that got their panties in a bunch because of all of the uh, racial slurs and whatnot that came up on Twitter, here's the thing, on some real shit. <clears throat> if anybody thinks that racism is not alive, not only in America, but in this world, you are sadly fucking mistaken. You are sadly fucking mistaken. And it's one of those ways it's like, is it sad? Is it atrocious that he's being called a porch monkey um, amongst other things? Yes, it is very fucking sad that that even has to happen. You know, and a lot and I saw a lot of tweets from, you know, our, um, you know, Latin brother, you know, brothers and sisters. That hurt my heart, but at the same exact time, shit happens, and it's in moments like this that you <clears throat> get to see what it is and realize that, you know, racism is still alive and well. But just like Steve Harvey still cashing his checks, his thing on some real shit, yeah, and I have a fucking life to live. I'm not going to be overly fucking invested in this bullshit, because uh, T. Spiller got a motherfucking life to live. A motherfucker come up to me right now and start talking some motherfucking shit and call me smooth the fuck out my name. Now, mind you, if they catch me on the wrong motherfucking day, they might get knocked the fuck out. But typically, I'm in a good mood. So it's one of those where, you know, I'm going to brush the shit out and I'm going to keep it pushing. Because as long as I'm in your mind and I'm taking up space, it is what the fuck it is. But I'm not going to lose sleep over what the fuck you think about me. All right, because you're not going to affect my day. You're not going to affect my workflow. You're not going to affect my money, my coins, my bread. You're not going to fucking affect it. So it is what the fuck it is. So that's the Steve Harvey thing. That's my take on it. It is what the fuck it is. Moving on. So Iman Shumpert. So we know that he and uh, Tiana Taylor gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. And like I said, I mean, given the circumstances, <clears throat> like I said, it was a beautiful story. And even him stepping up to the plate, it was also beautiful. Um, so with all that being said, um, <clears throat> excuse me, allegedly. Hey, hey, you know. Yeah, but allegedly, and actually the next couple of, sh yeah, there, like, there's some more, there's, there's a lot of alleges that I'm about to hit y'all with, but first, allegedly, he has been caught cheating, what's going on, how you doing? He's been caught cheating on Tiana. Now, what happened is, apparently, a blogger or someone like that, uh, holiday, uh, his or her friend, to step to him on and see if he would take the bait. And apparently, he did. And this individual goes, and the person's name is Famulus. And pretty much tweeted that they used the decoy and that he took the bait, you know, that he caught. Now, first and foremost, it only got one like, number one. Now, here's the thing. Every, I'm not going to say everybody, but do men cheat? Yes, we do. Do women cheat? Yes, they do. Cheating happens, all right? If y'all missed my last trending topics, I think I spent about a good 10, 15 minutes giving y'all the difference between a whore and a hoe, all right? At, at this point, and I'm going to be straight up 100 with y'all, if motherfuckers are still, you know, pulling up on the side to sit here and get some pussy and get some dick, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you when you got them pockets. Okay, just take your ass to a motherfucking brothel. It's too fucking simple. Shit. Hell, go to motherfucking AshleyMadison.com. I don't know about it, but go the fuck over there. You know what I'm saying? Get you, you know, get some motherfucking pussy. I, actually, you might want to pick a different site because they shit did get hacked. But all that I'm saying is if you sitting here rolling up on coins to get, you know, to get you, your dick sucking, your pussy licked and all this other shit, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. I'm just saying. But at the same exact time, I don't believe this story. You feel what I'm saying? And here's the thing. On some real shit, if it did happen, these motherfuckers are dumb. They are fucking dumb. Why do I say they're dumb? You want to know? T's for why dumb. Do you want to know? I'm finna tell you. This is fucking why. If that was the case, somebody should have been recording the shit. This, like I said, this person should have had some audio recordings and everything. 
And then got his number one night and let him know, look, motherfucker, I know you just had a baby with show baby mama. If you don't want this shit to leak, I'm going to have to ask you to run me some motherfucking dough or I'm going to sit here and expose you for the motherfucking cheat that you are. Sorry about your motherfucking luck. And get paid off the shit. Come on now. Come on now. It, exactly. I don't believe it. But again, if the shit was real, come on now. I'm going to have to. Here's the thing, y'all. It's 2016 is right a motherfucking corner. I'm going to need everybody in general to step your motherfucking pussy up. Okay. All right. It is unacceptable. Shit, I've been singing for a hot minute. You know what I'm saying? Not, like, everybody ain't low. But again, everybody need to step their damn pussy up for 2016. I'm, I'm going to have to ask everybody to do it. Okay. Like I said, I know y'all see all this shit. I didn't step my. I'm going to need for y'all to step y'all shit up too. Damn it, hell, motherfuckers on this dumb shit. Like, how are you going to sit here and try to expose somebody? Don't expose their ass, extort their ass. I'm not condoning it, but hot damn, if you're going to sit here and put in the motherfucking legwork, get paid for this shit. I the, the world ain't safe. Like, so like I said, it ain't safe in a world full of stupid motherfucking hoes. Let me move the fuck on. I told you I'm getting myself riled up right now. All right. Yeah, step it up now, step it up. Our Dot Kelly. All right, so I've already talked about Shot Town in the beginning. I'm going to talk about Shot Town again. So, Our Dot Kelly, we all know about the Huff Post. Now, er, uh, here's here's some shit that I'm going to say. Because um, a lot of people are mad at uh, R. Kelly for some of the things that went on. And here's my take on it. First and foremost, <clears throat> with Old Girl coming at him the way that he did. One, I'm not saying that he didn't, but in the event that, because he's a seasoned veteran in the fucking game right now, in the event that his people did not already talk to her and her people and say, look, because <clears throat> here's the thing, typically with interviews on some real shit, it's one of those where, you know, either A, give me a list of the questions that you're going to ask me, or B, here is a list of questions that I am willing to ask and anything other, I will not do this interview. Because if that was done, he can easily, because I'm assuming that it wasn't because he stayed doing the interview a little too long if that was done. Because had it been me, <clears throat> yeah, that would have been done. And too, as soon as somebody even tried to hit me with any type of allegation of me pissing on somebody, I don't piss on people. But even had that been the point, drip, 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 I would have been like, you know what? Uh, this interview is over. You were here for my lawyers. And I would have left. Left it at that. I'm not finna say it. My thing is, is I try not to give shit more energy than what the fuck it deserves, okay? Because my time and everything is fucking precious, okay? I'm not finna do it. But that right there, I feel that if he didn't do it, he should have. And if that was already in place, they did. But if it was already in place, he still should have gotten up <clears throat> and not entertained it. Now, also... He should have been prepared, but here's the thing. Also, I'm going to need for him to go holler at Matthew Knowles. Because <clears throat> Matthew Knowles has schooled, <clears throat> okay, Destiny's children on how the fuck to give interviews. <clears throat> like, you have people that, like, here's the thing. You know you the shit <clears throat> when a motherfucker can ask you a question and you could turn this shit and move to another fucking uh, topic and trick their ass and not know that you the fucking did it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> He's a seasoned veteran. I expect a little bit more from him. In doing that. Now, a lot of people was mad at the whole him answering Twitter, you know, tweets and ask R. Kelly. Here's the thing. <clears throat> people going to tweet what the fuck they want to tweet. And just as there were bad questions, we all know there were good questions. Now, this reporter, my whole thing is this. <clears throat> On some real shit, even though it was funny and most of us, we were here for the reads and everything else. She probably just committed career suicide. Because what may happen is I'll use me for instance. If I go her, if I to do an interview with Huff Post and I see her, it's gonna be one of those where I'm gonna let a motherfucker know right quick. Uh y'all need to replace her. She will not interview me. Cause she's already shown that she is not professional. And I refuse to sit here and work with somebody that's not professional. Boom. Let enough motherfucking people do that, her ass is out is without a motherfucking job. You feel what I'm saying? And here's the thing. This is our motherfucking Kelly, okay? This is motherfucker with, with hits on top of hits on top of hits. He could have picked any other motherfucking, you know, news outlet to do this fucking interview. But, bitch, he chose you on this damn platform. Like, do you not realize how you just fucked yourself? Yeah, you got some, you got some tweets and everything else, okay? <laughs> but you fucking up your career and you actually fucking with the livelihood of anybody that work at Huff Post. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, here's one thing that people really need to understand. People talking about some, oh, R. Kelly's career is over. Uh, let me put you up on game. Oh, he is. 
king of diversion, okay? But here's the thing. What people need to realize about R. Kelly, his career will never be over, y'all. Why is that? R. Kelly does not have to release a fucking album. Okay, R. Kelly is like Tupac. I need for y'all to follow me with what I'm about to say. Everybody want to know, like, why is that Tupac? Like, there's a song out by Tupac, like, every two to five, sometimes ten years. Because the motherfucker has a catalog of shit. First and foremost, I can guarantee you R. Kelly has anywhere from five to maybe even 20 albums worth of recorded media already. That he can just sit here, select, 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 and drop a motherfucking album. R. Kelly writes for a lot of fucking artists. R. Kelly don't never have to do a motherfucking song another track a day in his life he gets producer credits you feel what i'm saying when somebody buys a song uses a song he gets credit for that shit you know most people fail to realize that most artists don't make shit on their fucking albums one because most of them don't write their own shit most of them don't produce their own shit how many artists you know writing and producing their own shit prince does it prince praise every motherfucking instrument neo does it our dot kelly does it Missy Misdemeanor motherfucking Elliot does it. They don't ever have to fucking release shit else. Exactly, right? But that's it. They ain't got to do shit else. They could be behind the scenes and make the money. So if they, so if you want to say that his career in terms of a singer is over, I guarantee fucking to you, if R. Kelly does a motherfucking show, he gonna sell that shit out. Why? Because he's motherfucking R. Kelly. Let me say that if he ever wants to grace a motherfucking stage, the shit gonna sell out. One. You feel what I'm saying? And at the same exact time, if he chooses to never do that again, he is making money. This man is making residual motherfucking dollars. So I'm going to need for people to sit smooth the fuck down because they think they know, but they really don't know. So we're pretty much done with the video. I just have some congrats here. And that is it. Send you guys on your way. I told y'all this is going to be a quickie, but just go ahead and get this knocked out. All right. So... Congrats on Arnoda, first tip, a.k.a. T.I. T and Tiny, Lord, I just come, <laughs> I crack my own self up. They are expecting a child, I believe this is uh, lucky number seven. Um, allegedly, Tiger, Tyga, and Kylie Jenner are engaged, allegedly. Allegedly, Scrappy and Bambi from Love & Hip Hop ATL they're engaged, allegedly. Why? I don't know. I'm just reporting what's in the blogs right now. Uh, Drea Michelle from uh, Basketball Wives LA. She is prego. By her on-again, and on again, off-again boyfriend, Orlando. But I'm going to say that part right there is allegedly. But I'm pretty sure he's probably the baby's father. And um, on December 18th. Kirk and Rashida, and I'll be nice and I'm going to say her name correctly, even though I don't see it for their asses on Love and Hit Hop Atlanta, but they celebrated uh, this past uh, December 18th, their 16 years, uh, 16 year wedding anniversary. So, you know, let's go ahead and let's, get, let's give a clap for black love and all that good jazz. So that's it. That's all that I have with the trending topics. Again, if you guys have not checked out the blab that I did with Much Love and KY, Sean Bradley, James Colwell, and Lady Nika, go to my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash spilling all the tea, or you just type in the search uh, bar, bye bye, uh, spilling all the tea, everything spelled out. Uh, and like I said, you will find those. Like I said, there's, we have, it's five videos up. And if you want the trending topics, it's part one. If you want to see James and uh, Lady Nika, uh, read the fuck down on uh, this one uh, person that was high off something. That is video number five. Both shit. They was reading throughout all the motherfucking videos. But that is all that I have. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully y'all got something out of this. Hopefully I brighten y'all's uh, Sunday, which is a little bit of that word. I don't look, look. Look now, I'm trying to end on a positive. I don't know how many times he have cheated on the damn woman. I don't know and really don't fucking care because I told you I don't fucking see it for him. But again, trying to end on a positive note. So rate, comment, subscribe, and share because this will be on YouTube. And I will see you guys next week for this same time, same place. And yes, I will be doing the Real Households of Atlanta tonight, and uh, hopefully work out New York. Uh, if not, that'll be the first thing I'll load tomorrow. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Have a blessed Sunday. I'll see you guys later. Peace.